I'm standing behind so I think it's second most dangerous snake. Pardon if I'm excited, but this is absolutely crazy for me. The Cape Cobra is a southern African endemic, ranging from the southern sections of Botswana and Namibia along the western coast of South Africa through the Cape provinces all the way to about East London. Uh, the range, the colours range from about pitch black all the way through to almost light white yellow colour. Um, more specifically, the other ones we've got from Game Time have been sort of a more golden orangey yellow with uh, also the speckling as well. And then down near Port Alfred and stuff, we've seen some of the, the more brown looking ones. Um, these guys are still still a beautiful cobra nonetheless. Uh, the ones up in the Kalahari are, are very, very yellow and there's sort of that lemon yellow going up into Namibia and they're really beautiful. Um, so this isn't isn't the prettiest colours of the Cape Cobra, but it's still a very beautiful African cobra. The Cape Cobra, or scientifically known as Niger Nivea, is a relatively large cobra. Its average size is 1.4 meters, but it maxes out at about 1.6 meters. Relatively little is known about its mating behaviors, but it's thought that this snake pairs up in autumn and then drops eggs in late spring or early summer. They brought normally around 23 eggs, um, which they'll lay in like holes and stuff like that in the ground. Um, and the juveniles will then hatch at the beginning of, of summer. <laughs> um, and we've, we've actually we got a, a specimen last year that one of the farmers had killed that had 23 eggs in her. Um, and she was 1.7 meters tall. So yeah, they're very, very cool snakes but uh, demand a lot of respect. As you can see, this guy isn't a spitter, otherwise I would be in a lot of pain right now. <laughs> it cannot spit, but the bite is exceptionally dangerous. Um, it's voted second most dangerous snake in South Africa in terms of venom and the ability to kill you. And with these snakes, they have a neurotoxic venom unlike the adders, and this um, stops the nervous system. So basically, your heart stops, your lungs stop, and you basically suffocate or fall, or you have a heart attack. And um, this can happen in a very short period of time after a bite. Um, 20 to 40 minutes, two hours, it depends on the person and the case, but these guys are very dangerous and the best thing you can do if you ever get bitten by one of these snakes is get to the hospital as fast as you can. If you have access to a pressure bandage, yeah, you should probably use one, but only if you have the right kind of pressure put on the wound. And um, also a bag valve mask can save your life. For sure, because it's just going to collapse your lungs. Um, and so any, any artificial respiration that can just keep you going until you get antivenom uh, is, is very useful. Um, with the, the, the bandages, we explained that in, in one of our last videos, those pressure, pressure bandages, you need to keep it at 60 millimeters mercury in order for it to restrict the lymphatic system and stop the spread of venom. Um, but yeah, the venom on these guys is no joke and, and the venom yield also, I mean, this is a large cobra. It groups um, with the, all the other Nudger, the true cobra, and um, the other nudge you'll find in Southern Africa would, be, would include um, Snouted Cobra, Forest Cobra, Black Spitting Cobra, Mozambican Spitting Cobra, to name a few. But uh, this, is, this is top on the list of some of the most venomous. It also is one of the most aggressive, although those cobras generally are relatively aggressive snakes. <laughs> oh, okay, that's Jeez. not good. We're not friends, obviously, here. So although cave cobras have a very bad reputation, and in addition, they have a very toxic venom, they are actually not, in fact, evil. You'll, you'll see that they do, in the video, they do sometimes rush us a bit, and they'll stand their ground, but given half a chance, they, they normally put their heads straight down and they disappear into the closest bush. Venom all over my GoPro. Yeah, 
I don't know how to touch it now. So this is the Cape Cobra. And it's a very cool Cobra. And doesn't seem to like my GoPro. <laughs> I don't know what it's about it. Doesn't like the makers. Doesn't like, I don't know what it is. But the red lights that's Probably flashing. Because it's, oh, <laughs> it's a, only a hero. Yeah. Not a hero 4. This guy's got class and style. This guy doesn't play around. This guy buys no Hero playing. 4 Plus. Yes, no. He sees the knockoff shit. What? Hey, no one buys this no knockoff shit. No, no. 1080p 30 frames a second. What are you talking about? Oh, oh, shit. You're such a dick, bro. <laughs>